thank you so much for joining the Alberta Business Show. My name is Makita, or as my uh, TikTok family calls me, Yeg Writer. Today, I am going to be doing actually the first uh, episode. We're going to be chatting with Sarah. And today, Sarah is going to be talking to us about how she started her retail business accessory company. Thanks for joining, everybody. We're also going to be talking about self-promotion and how to promote yourself. Sarah is going to be telling us about how she promotes herself. She's going to go into how she started her business. She's also a business consultant, so hopefully she'll be able to share some helpful tips. Thanks for joining, everybody. Uh, wow. Thanks for joining, Sarah. I'll bring you into the line, and we can get our chat started. Bit, uh, patient with us. We're going to get Sarah into the line and we'll get started. Hi, Sarah. Uh, how are you? Good. How are you? Good morning, everybody. Great. Uh, thanks for joining me here on the Alberta Business Show. Today, everybody, our chat is going to be fully about uh, Sarah Atwa. She's going to be telling us about the fact that she's a business consultant and she also owns an accessory retail store here in my city. So I'll give you the floor, Sarah, and you can tell us who you are, what you do, and how you got started in business. Sure. Um, so my name is Sarah Wada. So I used to um, work as a data analyst, and then I switched gears and uh, became an e-entrepreneur. So I started off with EX Services about four years ago. It started off as um, just doing consulting work in terms of uh, administrative services, um, customer service, and then moved on to a bit more project management as well. Um, and recently this year, I started Unsi Boutique. So it's a clothing company um, that's focused on being a uh, size inclusive and just making sure everybody is happy and comfortable in the scare they're in. That's excellent. I had a chance to take a look at your uh, profile and I actually noticed a woman on TikTok who lives here mm -hmm. in Edmonton. It looks like you're pretty local in the community. You look like you're supporting creatives here. You're using mm -hmm. models that are local. How do you find models? Um, how do you find also the inspiration to pick certain accessories over others uh, for women and of course men who are interested in your retail. Yeah. So in terms of um, finding models, so I really like to tap into um, local Edmonton community. So whether it's uh, women who I know or women that I see on Instagram that inspire me. So like that video you're talking about, it's uh, another woman in the city, uh, Shelby, and she's amazing. Um, she's an entrepreneur herself. So just kind of connecting with other women who are passionate about uh, community, uh, being inclusive and um just, you know, who love themselves, like, or trying to, right? So, like, that's the biggest thing for me. Um, in terms of finding accessories and, like, how I choose my pieces, uh, I try to find stuff that uh, you wouldn't generally find in stores. So, pieces that are unique, uh, stuff that's versatile, and stuff that you can wear with different ex outfits. So, you're not consistently buying, um, like, you know, 20 earrings to match all your outfits. It'd be, like, one or two that will um, last and are versatile. Awesome. And before you started your business, um, did you go to school for anything in particular? I'd like to have our audiences to kind of know how you started because I kind of find uh, the storytelling and telling people who we are and why we are doing what we're doing kind of connects with people's minds and hearts. Uh. Yeah, for sure. So what I started with did not look at it. It eventually helped, but it's not direct. So I have a degree in um, geology from Carleton University in Ottawa, um, as well as one in environmental science and economics from U of A. Um, both don't directly lead to what I'm doing, uh, but the, the skills I've learned, um, the programming, the writing, um, the work ethics, so all those things I definitely carried over into YEG services and what I'm able to offer through that. And then that to um, UNC would teach some background. And how does it feel being an entrepreneur? Like, what is the thing that you like most about running your own company? Um, there are many things that I like. <laughs> and definitely, like, the, for me, it's being able to do what I'm passionate about. I know that's a cliche thing to say, but it's true, right? Um, you, you have to find your own motivation when you're an entrepreneur. It's not, no one's driving you. You are your own um, leader. So having that drive, and it comes from being passionate and believing in it is what you're doing. That's awesome. Uh, do you have any interesting things that are coming up, new uh, clothing or new accessories that are coming in the line? Uh, what's your take on the upcoming uh, fashion season? Because uh, you and I both know Paris is going to come up, Toronto, New York fashion. What are your projections or what do you think uh, the ladies and men should know? 
Uh, well, in terms of things I have coming up, so we're, um, I'm just starting to uh, go to the 124th market. So that's going to be a bit exciting. So if you're in Edmonton, show up. It's going to be filled with like different local vendors. Um, so it's every Sunday. So I'm really excited to start that this summer. Um, and in terms of fashion things to look out for, um, I guess, like, again, it's, like, it's very, I think it's personable. I'm not one to follow, like, trends to to a T. Um, but I think what we're going into next fall is going to be just stuff that are comfortable, um, more pastel colors, just stuff that give you comfort just because we're transitioning to working from home. So um, it's going to be a different um, fall season than we used to. So it's just something to look out for. That's great. Um, now, I, I'm actually playing around with different topics on TikTok, and I'm getting into, like, the business branding fashion thing because, as you're probably aware, branding is not just, like, us being here live and creating great content on social media. It's, like, a it's a whole culture. It's, like, the way you wear your hair, the shoes, you wear yeah. the colors, you wear your dress. What advice do you have for um, aspiring women in business, men in business? Do you have any mm -hmm. tips on they should use for business meetings or whether on Zoom or how they should kind of keep themselves up during work meetings. That might be helpful for some of our audience here. Um, so that you mean in terms of like their outfits or in terms of just how to, okay. So I think it's very important. Like we're, we're, it's because we've been doing this for a while. So people are getting more relaxed in how they present themselves in Zoom meetings. Um, and I think that's, that needs to go back. We need to present ourselves in um, like being, comfortable but comfort doesn't mean you're not um sharp in how you dress so making sure like your hair is trimmed get those haircuts i feel like a lot of people are not doing that these days so whether you do that yourself or you go back to your barber or hairdresser that's something that's very important um and then just you know ironing our shirts again i've seen that people don't do that these days on zoom meetings and i'm just like no 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 like <laughs> make sure that's done so um just kind of going back to how pretend you're back in the office and act act accordingly, right? Like dress the same way. And I think that's something we need to constantly remind ourselves and those around us. And um, correct me if I'm wrong. So you're saying that you have like fashion for, I guess, above size mm -hmm. sizes like this. That's awesome. I know Ashley Graham, she's like one of the big uh, Hollywood kind of New York fashion uh, ladies that kind of promote this thing. Mm -hmm. um, Think he's going to be in the future because even just watching Fenty, the Rihanna show, um, I know she had this like full array of men and women on her show. Uh, do you think the future of fashion will be an array of women or do you think it, this is just kind of like a phase and it'll go back to like the skinny Tyra Banks or the Kylie Jenner kind of models? Like what's your perspective on that? No, it's definitely a change that is going to last. So I think, um, and it is a positive change. It's not because not everybody is like a size eight, not everybody's a size um, seven, right? So this push and the change that's happening is is gonna last, right? Because it's not something that society, we hardly move backwards, right? So as we keep pushing forward, I don't think this is gonna go back. And there are a lot of models who um, are plus size. Um, so having that there gives a lot of people um, the confidence to be themselves, the confidence to, um, you know, it's as simple as waking up in the morning and actually going outside. I know a lot of people struggle with that, especially if they can't find something that speaks to them. If what they have to wear is like, you know, old lady clothes and you're in your 20s, why should you wear something that doesn't inspire you every day? So, you know, what I'm pushing for, when other people are pushing for, is making sure that, you know, whether you're a man or a woman, just a human, you need to feel comfortable, you need to feel accepted, and I don't think we're going to go backwards from that, at least I hope not, and if that does happen, you know, we're just have to keep fighting for it, like, it's, it's something that we're still fighting for right now, and it's, we're going to keep fighting for it. And so far with your business, how did you pivot? I know we met a couple weeks ago for oh. coffee, and that was one you asked me um but how did you find that you pivoted during this COVID and when do you think it was time to pivot if you did make any quick decisions with your business during this time 
Uh, well, in terms of the boutique, um, I had to, like, my plan was to, you know, we're fresh, we're new, so going out to markets and kind of presenting ourselves that way, uh, and including ourselves in the community, but all that was cancelled. So, um, pivoting in that sense, we really had to, like, reach out to our network online, build the network online, so reaching to um, different community members, um, and let them know about our products, sending them some products so they, you know, see who we are. Uh, we also did a lot of giveaways that we wouldn't have done otherwise, just kind of like so people know you. Um, and we went on lives, um, you know, just kind of just speaking to people. So that's not something that I would have done, at least not as fast. So I'm kind of glad um, I was able to do that. Uh, and in terms of YEG services, um, we didn't have to pivot too much because our platform was always online. It was more just reaching out to people um, differently uh, in terms of what kind of like their service that they needed from us were a bit different because they didn't, um, their businesses also were scaled down. So kind of just tailoring for what they need and kind of moving along with the time. Awesome. And uh, I actually bumped into you at Edmonton's first block, uh, I guess, African Caribbean, we're all the same people, but mm -hmm. our first uh, blacks or African descent uh, market here in the city. I was super excited to see you and totally unexpected because yeah. I thought I was um, Nunu, the person who was running it. And then I ended up seeing a bunch of black entrepreneurs that I follow here on Instagram. How was mm -hmm. that feeling to be that news that this is the first um, black market in Edmonton since the city has been around for who knows how long? Like, how, mm -hmm. how was that feeling? How did you feel when you were there in your company? during the market? Uh, it was such an amazing feeling. Like I didn't, um, I, I, like you, I was surprised that that was the first market we've had in Edmonton. So just being able to participate um, and share, so I'm just gonna close the door, um, share what, um, first of all, to see what Edmonton has to offer in terms of all these black entrepreneurs that um, other people don't know about because we don't have the same networks as others do in the city, um, but also to be able to showcase what we have. So it was an amazing experience um, for me personally. It also increased my network because, again, starting out, we didn't have that access to um say marketing tools one of the tools but like the network of it so for we were able to connect with a lot of different people um we ended up um having an interview with uh, global tv which was also amazing like that's something that i would have access to otherwise right so just having that community um and all of that was just it was an amazing experience like i can't wait for the second one next year oh that's awesome do you have a clip mm -hmm. of that i'd love to share that with my linkedin folks yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah, I'll forward it. Awesome. And uh, other than that, um, is there anything else that you want our audiences to know? Uh, are you opening a store anytime soon? Do you have a blog, a newsletter? Are you on YouTube? Let us know uh, what other platforms you're using so that people can check you out after this live. Uh, well, I am on Instagram, um, so it's at Unsi Boutique, um, and for YX Services, at YX Services, um, as I said, we'll be at the 124th uh, Market this Sunday, so I'm really excited about that. Um, other than that, you can, you know, we don't have anything else going on, really, but um, you can reach me through these channels. Okay, well, thank you so much for your time today, Sarah. I will be uploading this on uh, my Instagram live TV just so that people can take a look. I'll tag you and I'll include uh, some information about you as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, if thanks so much. On the line, oh. <laughs> thanks oh, so much for having me. I really appreciate it being uh, on your platform today. Uh, it's so great to connect with other people who um, are looking to build communities and kind of just bring everybody together and share their knowledge. So thanks again for having me. Yeah, I'd like to have you on the show if you have something like a launch or something and you just want to hop on. Maybe we can try in the evening. And yeah, let me know. I, my platform is free for anybody to join. Uh, Perfect. So find these uh, chats are so much better. People like seeing double faces versus one all the time. So. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Does anyone have any questions for Sarah on the line? Hey, thanks for joining, Ricardo. Anyone have any questions for Sarah on the line? She's a business consultant. She owns a retail store here in my city. And she's pretty active in the community and um, can ask her any questions about what she does, uh, et cetera, et cetera. 
Yes. Okay, so, um, <laughs> okay. well, that's okay. If you want to go anonymous or kind of shy, feel free to uh, reach out to Sarah after this. I'll upload her, tag her. And uh -huh. thanks again for your time. I really appreciate it. Good luck with your business, and I hope to chat yes. with you. Yeah, for sure. Thanks. Um, Bye. Bye, everybody.